What is a water repellent sealer for concrete and masonry? So uh, concrete tends to have a higher pH than a masonry. Masonry, we're talking about uh, cinder blocks, so there's a different mixture of aggregates in there, different types of additives in a cinder block or a mortar block than there is a, a concrete driveway, for example, or a concrete slab. Uh, the uh, cinder blocks, uh, masonry blocks, tend to be more porous, so you would need to think about the type of penetrating sealer to use. Uh, in the lower pH environments, the silanes don't work so well, right? They need a higher pH, so uh, a, a silane or a pure silane is not uh, recommended. Silanes are also um, very volatile. They react, they ev evaporate very quickly. So you have to put a lot of silane in, and if the, uh, if the surface is very porous, then those silanes evaporate before they have a chance to really get into the concrete block and work. So for a mortar or a cinder block uh, material, we would recommend going with a silane siloxane or a fluorochemical type product in those environments. Um, the, as I say, the concrete tends to be denser, tends to be a higher pH. So there you can use silane siloxanes or silanes on their own. Or you can densify the concrete first. Uh, that's another option that will deep seal it and then come back with your topical sealer. Fluorochemicals work well in concrete. They don't work so well in the more porous block and mortar type products. Mm -hmm.